I got a hundred. Okay. David, what is the appropriateness of a white guy wearing one of those? Appropriateness? Is that considered appropriate and respectful or no? Yeah. Yes, it is. Respectful. I mean, I don't see anything against it. I'm not like that, that into like that deep into it. Like, I just wear it because uh, I don't know. Yeah, family expects you to. Yeah. I get that. That's why I'm asking, you, man. Like, what is the appropriateness of white in your perspective of like a teacher? Let's say I was wearing one. What would your what would you like me? What would your interpretation of That's cool. Games. Are there people that think it's not right? I don't think so. It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, but also in 2024, people are like super sensitive about like, cultural appropriation. So, Ooh, there you go. Okay. It's like kind of confusing. So, nobody cares, bro. Oh man, that's my quote of the day. Morning, morning. Ooh. Do different colors have different meanings? I know red's like the, the big color, right? It's different. No? Not sure. Okay. Well, is that black or That's navy. I'm colored my I don't know, bro. I wear it. Is it true that the black ones are like, uh, are like bad luck or whatnot? Like, I'm not sure. I think Ethan's wearing. Why there's white kids wearing black? I'll let you find your filter. I'll come back. Each entry is only worth four points, but at the end of the semester, it's probably going to end up being worth about 40 points, which means it'll be a pretty decent sized grade for your final grade. Okay? Uh, so here's what's going to happen. Our cur current events objective, most Fridays, I'm not going to guarantee we do this every Friday, but I'm going to try. I'm going to shoot for doing this most Fridays. Okay? Students will be able to reflect upon current events by watching a video or completing a reading and writing a journal entry quick break. So you will either do a reading or a video. Uh, most of the time it's going to be a video unless it's just like a super important article that is super relevant to civics and I want you to watch it. Okay? Now, I'm going to try to be democratic and I'm going to let you guys vote. But first, I'm going to share uh, this fantastic quote from Amanda Gorman. Uh, I'm a big fan of her. She's on my wall. Uh, she gave the inaugural uh, poetry reading at Biden's inauguration. Uh, she did an amazing job. She was like 19 at the time, which is crazy. She also is the daughter of somebody I used to work with in LA. Uh, she, her mom is a middle school history teacher in LA. Uh, so it was really cool to see her uh, make such a big stage. Anyways, here's her statement. We are the good news that we've been looking for. 
demonstrating that every dusk holds a dawn disguised within it. Today we don't burst into a new world, we begin it. Uh, and as depressing as the news can be, you guys are the future, and so you guys gotta uh, kind of light up the world as you go out there into the big bad uh, real world, as they say. All right, here's your instructions. We're gonna watch either CNN 10 or the World from A to Z. I'm gonna let you guys in each period just vote. So first period might pick the World from A to Z. Y'all might pick CNN 10, I don't really care. We're just gonna vote, okay? Afterwards, you're gonna write a free response in your journal. Each journal free response is on a slide, okay? You'll have one slide that you complete for that day's news uh, viewing, okay? There's prompts on the next slide. Your job is to be honest, truthful, and open-minded and you need to add an image that you think best represents the story that you found most important or that resonated with you the most. Here's some things to consider. Do you have to answer all these questions? No, but if you don't know what to write, you're one of those people that's like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be writing here, you can just respond to one, two, three, all of the questions, whatever it takes you to write a paragraph, okay? I got sentence starters, just in case you're struggling on how to start each of your sentences. And then we'll vote. So it's kind of a weird time. When I first started teaching, the only student news thing there was was CNN student news, okay? And then they switched it to CNN 10, okay? Uh, and after they did that, this guy, who was actually the original host to CNN student news, uh, he left. And he started his own, what he feels is more objective student news or student-focused news broadcast, okay? Uh, if you know this guy, Carl Zeus, he's like the OG for student news. Uh, there's a new guy on CNN 10. All that to say, uh, I'm gonna let you guys pick. So if you would prefer to watch The World from A to Z with Carl Zeus or CNN 10, okay? So we will vote. If you would prefer to watch The World from A to Z with Carl Zeus, raise your hand. If you would prefer to watch CNN 10, raise your hand. Okay, since nobody voted for Carlos Zeus, we're going to do CNN 10. It's hilarious because it was literally the exact opposite last period. You didn't react? Oh, yeah, that happens in the real world too. If you don't vote, if you don't pay attention, people make choices for you. Life lesson. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, just so you guys know what's going on. Uh, the big stories are how to live a healthier lifestyle. Da, 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 a series of exercises you can do with just a paper plate. <laughs> uh, grocery store dietitian shows you how to be healthy, yada yada. They go to Shanghai, China, where a Lantern Festival is celebrating this year's Lunar New Year. Nice. And the world from A to Z, what do they talk about? Special counsel determined about classified documents found at President Biden's home and private office. Uh, the threat of Chinese hackers. Why Columbia coordinates flower exports and the cost of the Super Bowl. Nice. Oh man. Since we're not gonna watch this, I think it was Domino's. It was Domino's or Pizza Hut. They are offering a pizza, a breakup pizza to send to your no longer significant other on Valentine's Day. And it's literally a broken heart pizza. So if, if you're needing to uh, break up with somebody in a harsh way, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hello, lovely people. Welcome to CNN 10, the best 10 minutes in news on Koi Wire. Happy Friday, Friday. Let's take some great energy into this weekend. And we're going to start today's show by focusing on you, specifically your health. Our Dr. Sanjay Gupta met with a physician to learn more about body composition and what our body weight might tell us about our health and what actually is a healthy weight. Watch. Our weight is one factor that plays a role in our health. By itself, it doesn't give us the full story of who we are. Obesity in and of itself, I know your perspective is in and of itself can be a disease. Right. But what you're really looking at is the, the ramifications of that obesity, high cholesterol, triglycerides, your Absolutely. insulin's not working as well. I can't just judge the book by its cover and assume that someone that is larger is unhealthy and someone that is lean is healthy, right? That's, right? that's the assumption that people make. I call that practicing street corner medicine. We're going we're gonna to coin that today on the show, Sanjay. 
street corner medicine. How are you? I want to look beneath the the surface of the individual and see what's going on because someone who's lean may be very unhealthy and someone who's heavier may be healthier. You may have someone who carries excess weight. They may be an ultra marathoner. They may be capable of running in a hundred mile race and be very, very healthy, not have joint pains, may be able to carry that weight and do things that someone that's much leaner may not be able to and have the metabolic health to fit that profile. And so I think it's important for us to look at the weight plus the health and put those two pieces of the puzzle together. My goal is to get you to the happiest, healthiest weight for you. And so this comes to this idea of not comparing yourself to the person next to you, the person above you, whatever that is. What is the weight that you best live at? All right, for any of you out there who maybe don't go to a gym or don't like going to a gym, check out this workout you can do at home using a paper plate. Dana Sanchez has four exercises, each of which you do about eight to 10 reps and three to five rounds. Here it is. I want to show you a surprisingly challenging workout using only a paper plate. You'll put your paper plate on the floor and put your foot on top and then hands on your hips. Step back, tap your knee, bring it back up. Stabilizing through your left leg. Your left leg is really doing all of the work here. The next exercise is a lateral lunge. So you'll put one foot on the paper plate and then your hips again, and then you're sliding back. Try to sit back into the hip of your standing leg, and keep your chest up. You notice I'm leaning a little bit to counterbalance, but I'm trying to keep my chest up. This leg is really what's keeping me stable in this position and from sliding completely out that way. And make sure you do both sides on all of the exercises. And remember, it's so important to focus on the standing leg that's stabilizing the exercise. The last two exercises involve a plank position and making circles with your arms and your legs. So we'll start with our arms. So from your plank position, make sure you get stable. Take your feet out a little bit wider than you ordinarily would for a little extra stability, and then put your hands inside the paper plate and just start to make circles. Now make sure your low back is not arching like this because that's not going to do you any good. You need a nice strong core. If you find that it's too difficult, then put your knees down. Otherwise, stay here and do your eight circles. <coughs> And you can switch it up. Ideally, do four in one direction, do four the other direction. And then, of course, switch to the other side. And finally, we'll move the plate to our foot. And from that strong, stable plank position, we just start making circles in your own range of motion. If your range of motion is smaller, you can go smaller. Make sure you go for one direction, for the other direction, and then switch, and then other direction. Let's turn now to nutrition. Have you ever heard of ultra-processed foods? Well, they're basically any food that contains ingredients that are never or rarely used in kitchens. And while these additives add flavor and might keep foods lasting longer, they can be leading to a higher risk of cancer, heart disease, obesity, even death. And sometimes it's hard to tell which foods actually contain these ingredients. We talked to dietitian nutritionist Lorraine Kearney, who shows us how reading food labels can help us better understand how processed some foods really are. Most people who make ultra-processed foods are found in the chippa or the cookie aisle, but it can also be found in the cereal, in the oatmeal, in the yogurts. I'm going to help you today to navigate through them and what to look out for. When we get our bread at the bakery, it is the most minimally processed bread. 
When I'm looking at the ingredient, I still these two breads. I prefer this option. It has multi-grain flour, water, salt, and yeast. Compared to this other shelf stable bread that does have more additives and preservatives as well as dough conditioners to preserve shelf life. This one does have more fiber compared to the other bread. With most Americans only consuming about 5% of the fiber they need in a day, they are missing out on a lot of nutrients. So when we are looking at a minimally processed cereal, it will have that shorter ingredient list and lower amounts of sugar compared to the flavor enhancers or the added fats and oil to increase that mouthfeel. With our ultra process, it does have a higher amount of calories, but then with the fiber, when we look, minimally processed has a total of 12 compared to 10. With some yogurts, there's actually enough sugar to be enough for a dessert rather than a breakfast. So when we are choosing a yogurt, we want to make sure that we are looking at the ingredient list. This product has 18 grams of added sugar. And how we can tell if the product is high, low, or medium sugar is dividing the number of grams by four to turn it into teaspoons, compared to zero grams of added sugar and 15 grams of protein. 10 second trivia, in what country were fireworks invented? China, United States, Russia, or India? China. If you said China, you are correct. That's where fireworks first appeared following the invention of gunpowder, and now China produces more fireworks than any country in the world. For today's story, getting a 10 out of 10, we want to take you to a beautiful lantern <coughs> festival in the city of Shanghai in China. It opened a couple weeks ago ahead of the Lunar New Year celebration. Millions of people around the world are now getting ready for this holiday that falls on February 10th this year and marks the first new moon of the lunar calendar. According to the Chinese zodiac calendar, this is the year of the dragon. Okay, I'm not going to be dragging on this show any longer. Time to roll. Thanks for all the questions about Tom Brady that you want me to ask. We're going to see the winner on Monday's show. I want to give a shout out now. Let's go to the shipbuilders at Morse High School in Bath, Maine. Yeah, baby, let's ride this energy way right on into the weekend. Remember, you are more powerful than you know. I'm Coy Wire. It's been a blessing to spend this week with you.
can shed some light on Dylan's too, because it does. You don't have to. I, I didn't know if you guys all talked about it. Hang on, hang on. Dank's going to explain it to me without a conversation oh. first. So let's see if Dank gets it. Or is it just like the 40 year old white guy doesn't get it? Or is it that it doesn't make sense? It was uh, founding, founding documents, I understand. Right? <coughs> There's a slide deck. that in mind. 
If you're doing the civic action project, uh, community service option. Go ahead and get your document open. Give me a second. I don't want to be just disconnected from her. Today would be dedicated to you doing research about where you're actually going to do this. If you need to step outside and make a phone call to call one of these organizations, you are welcome to do that during this period. Uh, if you want to send an email, that's great. If you want to fill out an application to participate somewhere, that's great too. If you do send an email, I want you to copy me on it, uh, just so that I'm like uh, in the loop about what you are working on. Once you get part one done, if you are doing either the Civic Action Project Community Service option, or you are doing the government meetings hours, uh, I want you to do part one today, or get as much of it done as possible and get an e-signature on there for me. When I say e-signature, it just means I open up the document and I actually type on it, okay? It'll tell me who did that, that way I'm kind of like keeping in touch with your progress, okay? Uh, just for fun, the kid finished last period, uh, part one, and he got his e-signature already. Uh, the reason that's important is one, I need to know that you're progressing on the assignment, but two, it's also part of the points, okay? All three options are out of 20 points, and no matter which option you choose, it is 10% of your grade, get to the course. So just make sure you do it, because if you get to the end of the course and you don't do this, and you had an A, you just drop to a B. If you had a B, you just drop to a C. If you had a C, you just failed. Uh, don't let that happen as a senior in your last semester of school. Okay. So kind of keep that stuff in mind. I'm going to try to come back to this most Fridays. Most Fridays, current event, check in on civic action project. Let's make sure we're maintaining progress. Um, also, I don't have a due date on it yet still. I'm still thinking April 1st. That way you have through spring break, but it's not like at the end of the semester when you guys are super worried about you know, finals, AP testing, graduation, senior events, etc. Uh, I'm going to have you guys for the spring semester finish a little earlier. Okay? So, your job right now, try and complete part one, whether it's community service, government meetings, uh, or the actual civic action project. Any are fine, but this is your time to get it rolling. Okay? And then, of course, that kid that did it in the first period, uh, they got a nice little email confirmation. This is beautiful and it has contact information, it has the dates and the times that they're gonna do it and the total number of hours. Uh, so again, you got that nice little e-signature for me. If 
you need a paper to go do your community service hours, I have a nice little uh, record paper, if you will. Uh, this way you're going to that community service activity with documentation from the school uh, and a signature from your teacher as well. Okay. So uh, if you want one of these, let me know. I'll sign it and hand it to you. That way you're ready to rock if you're doing your community service really soon. Okay? Questions? All right, sweet. You are with me until 1025, which means you guys got 27 minutes to get as much of part one done as possible. Okay? But again, step one, make a copy of your document and then add it back to the assignment.
they did, and they allowed like, the Chinese to get it. They missed. I have to do it. If I do it on your computer, I'll like use that. No, but I can't. Yeah. Because you forgot it. Eric, see you in my Oh, sorry. I think Eric's still on Eric's still on Eric's
All right, people, I got you for seven more minutes to get as much of part one done as you possibly can. Also, most of your assignments for this week are due today. So if you have not turned in either a link to or the copy of your Find My Representatives or the Cyber Sandwich or any of that, make sure that stuff is submitted today. Oh, you know what you can do? You can just add that screenshot to your document, and that can be your proof. Yep, because you have your dates on there, right? Uh, or no, you tell me. What do we look at? Oh, after you sign up, you'll get a confirmation to say the dates that you're going. Okay, and then you can just attach that. Question? Yes, sir? You're going to do 10 hours in one day? Oh, is this, did they contact you? Is this for the OC votes thing? Yeah, did they reach out to you? Did they contact you? Check. Because <laughs> I can't sign off on that until you get a confirmation because I am assuming they have more people that have applied than they have space for. So that's like, if you get it, cool, then we'll do it. And if not, you got to find something else. Yes, sir? Are you going to Okay.
So, Mr. Hinton, so, was it remediation there or redemption? I said, I said, Mr. Kenny never wrote a letter saying what remediation is. Oh, 
So, so I'm printing out your guys' errors. The only assignment that isn't on your missing assignment is that is the paragraph is the paragraphs from yesterday. So if you didn't thank you so much. So if you didn't finish your paragraphs from yesterday, also then please make sure you finish those and turn them in. I will be a stickler for the class rules today. Uh, phone not being out and respecting the class's uh, silence so that they can get caught up on work. So please respect those two things. Once you're all caught up, let me know. I'll check your areas, verify, and then you can have some free time like for that side of the room. Any questions? Yes, Evelyn? You may listen to music while you work, yes? Any other questions? Yes? So, I'm gonna get to that one. Melanie? Yes, any missing assignments that's current in turns into points in the grade book, which is a good thing. Any other questions? You don't have the paragraph? You finished it? No. Is that a visible ink? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, you have to you guys, there's still no Chromebook. If you're going to use a Chromebook, you need to check with me. I need to see that you completed all your work work assignments first, and the only things you have left is the, uh, the, uh, is the Chromebook assignment. Okay? You don't need problems or anything now because I am going to give hand to your area for two assignments right now for this period. I missed a date for the so no Chromebooks unless you have checked with me, right? You have to finish all your work work assignments first.
How much did it cost? Guys, if you are talking, I'm getting a movie. You guys have work to do, and so do I. And I cannot help other students if you are being disrupted. If you cannot handle where you're sitting, you're going to show me that by disrupting with your conversations, and I will move you. I'll be right with you, man. Let me just finish up these questions, and I'll take everything. We're talking about power, too. Uh, so which ones have you finished? All of them? Just those two? So do the workbook pages first. You're busy making fun of me instead of understanding what I'm saying. Do the workbook pages first, and then after those who have any examples of homework. I know. That's all. I, I, I 100% agree, Melanie. So it's okay. My telephone, please. Right here. Thank you. You don't even have your books. Do you have my Yama Gummer book? No. I don't have anything. Just like you don't have anything. Yama Gummer. Huh? Yama Gummer. I already did my job. And then I put it back over there. <laughs> awesome answer, Matthew. Dude, great answers, both of them. Yeah. That, right? That's what I'm talking, that's so scholarly. Do this in all your classes, it makes it easy, right? Yeah. Turn the question to a sentence starter and then technical evidence. Awesome job, man. All right, thank you. You're welcome, really good. Your phone, I just want to ask him for one. Oh. Uh, Jenny, you have an extra pencil? Punch pencils. I got a pencil. What? I got a pencil. Okay, good. You're good then. Yes. What? The 
Don't throw things in the classroom ever, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're all good. Great job, Matthew. I'll put it in there. Okay, I'll rerun Aries in a little bit. Okay. And then Matthew, I promise I have CNN up. I'm just trying to get through all the questions and I'll put it on. All right. Go to ggusd.us. Staff, last week. Do you know how to do it? Yeah. All right. Who you are? <laughs> Louise, where are you? Does your arm hurt? No, 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 no. Bluetooth mouse. Loser had to run around with that ramp tape around campus 
with the karaoke machine screaming into the mic, Rams house, Rams house, Rams house, you can bet that. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Damn, that's even more worse than Wait, who is he with? It doesn't matter. I just don't know. I just don't Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even say that. You felt it? Was yeah. it pretty big? Huh? Was it pretty big? Nah. 
Did you like to shake it all? Yeah. You did? Are you from the two mommy? Oh really? It wasn't that long? No. Wow. So that yes, Matthew? Uh, I think that one time they also tested the bell. The what? The one time they tested the bell during class. Yeah. Jaden. Thank you. I appreciate it. And remember, your future self appreciates it also. Because your guru focus on your education. Guru and not on the text that will be have no meaning in your life that you're now. Okay? Awesome. So, Ever, what do you want to ask? Time to evacuate. I know. The bell ring is perfect timing. We should all. If I wouldn't get fired because they just came on and told us not to, I would. I truly would think I got fired, but I don't want to create. In these situations, it's not the time to play around because if I do that and another class does that, then they're going to be like, oh, why would you do that after we just announced not to? You gotta think about those things. You you know you work full time. You can be a manager. Think about if your employees just start doing crazy stuff. Shit, it's McDonald's. We have a manager that farts at our workers. What is crazy? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I fart my things all the time. Run <laughs> away. Like that. It's like nothing. You want some music on? No, you don't have to. All right, guys. Get back to work now. Hey, Jaden, just bring it up here, buddy. You can't control it on your own. Just bring it up. You don't want to. Don't want to bring it up. I know. No, he's totally fine now. It's like physical therapy for a second. Thank you, buddy. You just put it. You just put it right here somewhere safe. I'll, I'll keep it safe. Yeah, I'll let you use it. Jaden. You had several opportunities to do it the right way. Good work, Jay. Okay. Hey guys, please, please, I can't say this enough. Hey, Zeus, please use this time to catch up. Or else it's still going to be there. You're going to have to catch up on it another time. Use this time. Please use this time to get caught up. So you did that one? Okay. So now, with that figure, in this, it's a beautiful paragraph. But this is like a unicorn code call. So whatever you find you want to do in life, man, you have this skill now. Like even if you're saying you don't want to go to school, like something you might change your mind. Is it? Oh, you are? Good, good. You should. Thank you. 
the battery died. Can you kill the battery? Really? Uh, 
Did he? Dude, I have a lot of battery, bro. Alright, man. Sorry, thank you for your patience. I was trying to get all these huh? questions answered for the event. Okay. Hmm? Here, it's the power two hour. Power? I thought we were doing CNN, CNN News, right? Yeah, let's do it. Power two CNN News? Yeah, uh, combined. Whoa. 
I remember, it's so important. I am going to focus on the standing leg that's stabilizing the exercise. The last two exercises involve a plank position and making circles with your arms and with your legs. So we'll start with our arms. So from your plank position, make sure you get stable. Take your feet out a little bit wider than you ordinarily would for a little extra stability. And then place your hands inside the paper plate and just start to make circles. Now make sure your low back is not arching like this because that's not going to do you any good. You need a nice strong core. If you find it's too difficult, then put your knees down. Otherwise, stay here and do your eight circles. And you can switch it up. Ideally, do four in one direction, do four the other direction. And then, of course, switch to the other side. And finally, we'll move the plate to our foot. And from that strong, stable plank position, we just start making circles in your own range of motion. If your range of motion is smaller, you go smaller. Make sure you go for one direction, for the other direction, and then switch, and then other direction. Let's turn now to nutrition. Have you ever heard of ultra processed foods? Ingredients they're never in the kitchen. And while these are flavored, might keep foods lasting longer. I saw CNN 10 and Civics. Yeah, I saw it today. It's really funny. Dude, like, I like showing it because it's very important for us to be aware of what's happening in the world around us. I think it's really cool that they show it in Stephen Civics because, man, you do have to know what's going on around you. Really yeah, I know. When previews, we talked to dietitian nutritionist Lorraine Cole, who shows us how reading food labels can help us better understand how processed some foods really are. Most people who think ultra processed foods are found in the chippa or the kakia, but they can also be found in the cereal, in the oatmeal, in the yogurts. I'm going to help you today to navigate through them and what to look out for. When we get our bread at the bakery, it is the most minimally processed bread. When I'm looking at the ingredients on these two breads, I prefer this option. It has multi-grain flour, water, salt, and yeast, compared to this other shelf-stable bread that does have more additives and preservatives, as well as dough conditioners to preserve shelf life. This one does have more fiber compared to the other bread. With most Americans only consuming about 5% of the fiber they need in a day, they are missing out on a lot of nutrients. Hmm. So when we are looking at a minimally processed cereal, it will have that shorter ingredient list. And lower amounts of sugar compared to the flavor enhancers or the added fats and oils to increase that mouthfeel. With our ultra process, it does have a higher amount of calories, but then with the fiber, when we look minimally processed, it has a total of 12 compared to 10. With some yogurts, there's actually enough sugar to be enough for a dessert rather than a breakfast. So when we are choosing a yogurt, we want to make sure that we are looking at the ingredient list. This product has 18 grams of added sugar. And how we can tell if the product is high, low, or medium sugar is dividing the number of grams by four to turn it into teaspoons, compared to zero grams of added sugar and 15 grams of protein. Ten seconds in the country went fireworks in China, the United yeah. States, Russia, or India. Oh, if you said China, you are correct. That's where fireworks first appeared following the ascension of gunpowder, and now China produces more fireworks than any country in the world. For today's story, getting a 10 out of 10, we want to take you to a beautiful lantern festival in the city of Shanghai in China. It opened a couple weeks ago ahead of the Lunar New Year celebration. Millions of people around the world are now getting ready for this 
holiday that falls on February 10th this year and marks the first new moon of the lunar calendar. According to the Chinese zodiac calendar, this is the year of the dragon. Okay, I'm not going to be dragging on this show any longer. Time to roll. Thanks for all the questions. Pop Tom Gregory that you want me to ask. We're going to see the winner on Monday's show. I want to give a shout out now. Let's go to the shipbuilders. That's Morse High School in Bath, Maine. Yeah, baby, let's ride this energy wave right on into the weekend. Remember, you are more powerful than you know. I'm Floyd Wire. It's been a blessing to spend this week with you.